Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to play It Won't Be Long by The Beatles. This is off of the album with The Beatles. Let's do this. Alright, so this song, I'm going to say it has three sections and there's no guitar solo to this. So it's a super fun song to do. I always love playing this song. All right, so the beginning part starts off with two chords going back and forth. And it starts off on a C sharp minor. All right, so you're barring the fourth fret on strings one through five with your index finger. Then with your ring finger, you're uh, fretting the 6th fret of the 4th string then you're fretting the 6th fret of the 3rd string with your pinky and then with your middle finger you're fretting the 5th fret of the 2nd string and, the, and you're playing strings 1 through 5 And then from there you play a regular E chord, E major chord. And then you play the C sharp minor again. All right, so it starts off like this. It won't be long. From there, it goes to an A chord. So you just want to play the strings five, four, three, two. So it's an A chord. Then it goes to an A flat nine, which is just you're barring the A like you would on an A chord. And then you're going to put your finger on, let's see, it's going to be string three on frets three and it's going to be your middle finger so it's going to sound like this it's, the reason why it sounds so weird is because it's a flat nine which is a, a b flat so it's the a chord to love to you. okay so that part again it goes a to a flat nine to the E chord and then from there there's a riff that, that goes and that's a super cool little riff there it's just a descending E major scale uh, you're not playing the whole scale you're just playing the E D sharp C sharp B and then from there, that's that's the end of the scale that you're playing. But then you're gonna play the G, and then bend it up just slightly to the G sharp. Okay, so it sounds like this. Again. So uh, the proper way to do this. Uh, that I would say that if I were going to teach my guitar students is you're playing the middle finger on that E note which is the second fret and you're on the D string and then you play your index finger on the first fret of that D string so then from there you play your pinky on that C sharp which is the fourth fret of the A string then you play the B, which is the uh, second fret of the A string, with your middle finger. And then from there, you play that G note with your ring finger, and you bend it up. Well, in this case, you would bend it down to make the uh, note go up. And then you pull off. It's super cool. time from the beginning C sharp minor 
to E. Back to C sharp minor. Then A. Then A flat 9. To E. Then you do that funky, cool riff. Cool. Now the verse goes from E to C major, back to E with that funky riff, or I should actually say the bluesy riff, uh, the verse, E to the C, back to E. Then you go to the chorus again, C sharp minor, to E major, back to C sharp minor, then A, then A flat 9, to E. Now the next part goes, uh, since you left me. I'm so alone. So that part has some cool chords in there. So it starts off on the E major. Since you left me. To the uh, D sharp augmented. So there's two ways to play this. Well, there's, there's actually a lot of ways to play this. But for this song, there's two ways that I, I play this. So um, apart from that E major chord to the D sharp augmented, you can play it this way. You can play it with your your index finger on the, the fourth string, first fret. It is a D sharp note. And then you're playing the G open and your B open. Then you play the G note on the high E string with your pinky. So it sounds like this. That's one way of playing it. The other way of playing it is like this. So, so how you play that is pinky on fifth fret of the fourth string. You have your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Your ring finger on the fourth fret of the second string. And your index finger on the third fret of the, the first string, the high E string. And it sounds like this. Okay, so that's the second chord of that progression. So the first chord is E, then D sharp augmented, then D6. So a D6 is it's um, as if you were playing a D7 chord with uh, the open D, the, um, the A, the C, and the F sharp. But what you're doing is you're taking your index finger off. And that is a D6. Okay, from the beginning of that section, E major chord to a D sharp augmented to a D6 to a C sharp 7. Okay, the way you play that. So if you know how to play a C7 chord, so what you're doing is you're playing a C chord by using that pinky to play the B flat which is the, the third fret of the G string. But what you're doing is you're moving everything up a half step. And that's a C sharp seven. Okay, again from the beginning of that part. So E major, uh, e major chord. To a D sharp augmented. To a D six. To a C sharp seven. Now to A minor with the C in the bass. 
to a B7. Then an F sharp minor. To B7. Alright. And those are the three parts of the song. And the only thing left is the very last part of the song where it goes, I belong to you. So from there, he's playing a G6. So a G chord up here in this position. And then you use your pinky and add it to make the six. So what you're doing is you're placing your pinky on the second string on the fifth fret and that makes a G6 chord. From there, you're playing an F sharp, seven, to an F major seven, to an E major seven. So, that's the song. So I'll, I'll show you how to do these chords. Again, I, I showed you the G6. G6 is pretty easy. So you're just playing a G chord. And then you're adding your pinky to that second string fifth fret. Now an F sharp seven is, uh, so you're playing a half step lower and then you're keeping your pinky on that fifth string. Now it's an F sharp dominant seven or F sharp seven. And then from there, you, you take your pinky off, you slide everything down, and then the, the first string is open. So you're playing with that, with that high E. Then you play an E major seven. And that is, um, so you're gonna bar the second fret of strings four through one with your index finger. Then you're gonna bar uh, frets, uh, fret four with strings, uh, let's see, you're gonna have three, two, one with your uh, ring finger. And that's an E major seven chord. Again, that last progression. that's the song so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, do a tutorial on every Beatles song from the album with the Beatles and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna I'm gonna do probably the very first uh, album they did record CD whatever you want to call it and and I'm gonna just build up and try to do as many Beatles songs as I can because I know so many of them and I'm trying to gonna try and teach them all so my dilemma is I'm trying to figure out who am I teaching this to am I teaching it to beginning guitarists or uh, or intermediate guitarists or advanced guitarist well my thought is an advanced guitarist is already gonna know how to play these songs or if they don't know how to play them they're gonna be able to learn them pretty easy so these tutorials are pretty much based on uh, someone who's uh, somewhat of a beginner on guitar. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to try to do for now. And then once I do more tutorials, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So this guitar that I'm playing here is a, the John Lennon model, Rick, Rick and Bachter. Um, so this guitar is a little bit shorter than the guitars that I'm used to with my Les Paul and my Fender Strat. Um, so what I'm trying to say is the frets are a little bit closer together and it makes it a little harder, not terribly harder, but just a little bit harder to play if you're not used to playing it. And I don't play this guitar all that often. In fact, I had to uh, dust it off because I hadn't played it in years, but the strings um, the frets are closer together, so it's a little bit uh, harder to get to it, get, get everything to ring out, but, but 
it's a fun guitar to play. Anyway, that's the song. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much.